Binghamton's Classic Rock 99 won the whale. Digging deep into the Twin Tiers' largest collection of classic rock on the Shuffle Thursday, the Steve Miller Band. Dance, dance, dance. What's up? It's Jim Free, and you hanging out in the Free Zone, and a special guest today. Oh, I'm special? You're, you're <laughs> always special, Tommy. <laughs> and Tommy the Electrician. <laughs> and, uh, Tommy and I, uh, like we said before, uh, did morning radio for 15 years. Long time. Uh, we were good friends before that. We kind of fell into it. We were filling in for the morning guy when he went away. And then eventually the owner was like, uh, well, I don't, I don't know if he said we were better. <laughs> Get rid of the other guy and put us in. <laughs> but uh, it's funny because I posted both on the uh, Will website, Will Facebook page, and on my private Facebook page. Uh, it's not really private. You can find me on there. Uh, a picture of us hanging out with Sammy Hagar <laughs> in New York City. And there is a story behind this. And one of the people that commented on it was there to witness it, even though he was on the bad side of this. Uh, Jim Bernard, who played in local bands, Triple X. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, Street Legal and a couple other bands. Anyway, uh, we went down in a limo uh, to see Sammy Hagar playing at the Hard Rock, and we got to hang out with him pre-show. Uh, and uh, then we went out for what was supposed to be dinner. Well, actually, that was before we met him, Before right? the show, Because yeah, it looks like yeah. you're yelling at me about it, because I think we were bickering about it. And Sammy's like, hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we went out, and we were going for dinner, and we went to the Carnegie, Carnegie Deli, which, you know, I don't know if you've ever been there. Uh, but there's like pictures up and down the wall of all the celebrities. Yeah, that you know, it's closed now. It's gone. Good. Yeah. Bastards. <laughs> all right. So we go in to eat, right? And uh, Tim Boland, who also worked with us many years ago, and I had already eaten. Now, Jim Bernard and Tommy didn't eat, and Boris, the, the limo driver, was just picking up meat or whatever. Yeah. So we went yeah. in and we sat down at a table, and they're going around the table, and they start with me. Do you want something to eat? I'm like, no, thanks. So they went to Boris, he didn't get anything. They got to Timmy, he didn't get anything. So then they get to Tommy, and Tommy's like, yeah, Jim and I are going to split a sandwich. This is Jim Bernard. So the, the woman's like, wait, hold on. So she went over and got a manager, and they came back, and they're like, you can't just sit here. You're going to have to order food or pay $15 to sit here. I'm like, but I ordered a drink. And he's like, nope, not good enough. I'm looking around, the place is empty. I'm yeah. like, really, you want us to pay $15 to sit in your crappy deli? And they didn't like that too much. So we ended up leaving, and we tried to get Tommy and Jim Bernard to leave, but those two bastards- But we were hungry. Yeah, yeah we're not going to do that. <laughs> so we're walking out, and the funniest thing was Tim Boland. They had uh, pickles, remember, yeah. on each table? They had like a couple of pickles. Timmy's walking by grabbing pickles off each table on the way out. So we got back to the Hard Rock. We told Boris to move the limo to scare you to make it sound like we left, even though we wouldn't leave a Sammy Hagar concert. Uh, and then, yeah, I think we were bickering about um, whether or not Tommy was going to get a limo ride home. Yeah, but I did. And Sammy broke up the fight, and that's what that picture is. Yeah. So it, you really do look ticked off in the picture. I don't know. Do I? Yeah. Uh, check it out. It's on our yeah. <laughs> website, 99WonTheWhale.com, and on our Facebook page, <laughs> Facebook.com slash 99WonTheWhale. Anyway. All right. Uh, back in the day, <laughs> throwback Thursday, uh, <laughs> when Tommy and I did the show together, we used to do the top five right around, uh, well, around 8.50, and we were always running late. So this is like- There you go. It's this perfect. Is perfect. It's perfect. perfect. It's just like old times. Uh, Tommy's got the uh, top five reasons he came into work with me today. This is it. I showed up today, and these are the top five reasons why. Okay, number five. Well, actually, I've been calling in sick for the last 1,537 days. So I ran out of sick days, and I had to show up. That's, uh, number four. I have survived, and I don't know if you know this, but I have survived cancer and a heart attack. So I figured... I could survive gym one more day. <laughs> Number three? Number three, uh, <laughs> Jim just gave me the address to this place yesterday. <laughs> I've been trying to find out where it was, and, you know, <laughs> it's like totally. Anyway. Number two? Number two, uh, Madame Moore's isn't open until 5 o'clock, so I have nothing to do all morning. <laughs> and the number one reason Tommy showed up for work today. Just two words. Free coffee. Nice. There you go. It was worth coming in for.